Welcome back to another episode of Opinionated Reality Check. We're talking the challenge episode two, War of the Worlds. War, well, War of the Worlds. I'm gonna have a problem saying that. Anyway, we're gonna get right into it. Before I go into this spoiler alert, if you have not already seen the episode, I've given you ample time at this point. You're just being lazy, so it is what it is. I'm gonna tell you what happened, okay? So we're gonna start the episode. The episode took uh, place on what, February 13th, episode number two. Uh, we are, we get into the episode and we are met with Hunter and Wes. Hunter's talking about that he's working with Wes and they've had a conversation before the show and they have they have similar uh, rivals that they're going to be working together to get rid of. Bananas, because everybody has a problem with bananas. We all know this. And Turbo is talking about how he's excited to work with Nani and he's excited to compete. And, you know, there's a lot of conversation going on. This is after the first competition and people are back in the house and they're socializing and there's conversations going on and then we are met the next day with the first competition the first competition competition with new teams and the competition is called arms again <laughs> okay I, I don't know who does these but whatever arms again and the game is basically um you compete with your chosen opponent and you're going to be pulling on a rope it's going to be in two heats first you and your opponent are going to be pulling on a rope and the person with the most rope pulled before tj runs over the rope wins and it's a top three and then the second heat will be your teammate and their rival so we kind of get into the competition and oh before we go ahead the top three winners will make what's called a tribunal and the tribunal are safe from elimination but they will be able to choose three people to be nominated for elimination. And one person who's nominated will have to go speak to the tribunal and then basically plead their case. And then the tribunal will decide who's going to go into the elimination. Um, so Kyle is with Maddie, who's a tough chick. She's He's lucky, I think, because she looks like a tough chick, tough cookie. Um, Wes is going against Bananas. Bananas chooses Wes, you know, their continuous rivalry. And then there, Theo is pulling rope against Hunter. Hunt, Theo is the guy who was arguing with Ashley, so there's already that whole thing. Um, competition goes on, and it's interesting, exciting. Watch the show, and you'll find out. But the top three are Kara and Theo, Bananas and Morgan, and Josh and Amanda. And that's the, yeah, that's the winning three. These teams are then... They go into elimination, and then one again. The teams who are nominated have to then speak on about it. I'll speak about why they shouldn't be finally nominated. Um, so the nominates, the nominees are sort of. Oh, so after the tribunal has a discussion, they have their their nominations pretty quickly. The nomination nominees are Hunter and his teammate, Ashley and her teammate, and Zach and his teammate. Amanda is obviously arguing with uh, Bananas, and subsequently after the nominations, M Amanda goes into Bananas' partner, which is Morgan, who seems also like a tough chick, and she talks to her in such a demeaning way. I cannot stand Amanda. I think she's so disrespectful, and her head is so far up her own ass, she thinks her shit don't stink. Like, she's just constantly choosing, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, anyway can't stand her she gets into morgan's face and talking about oh you're with bananas and you're standing behind him like his shadow and i don't like girls like that girl who asked you your opinion who asked you because you are argumentative at every step of the way you think that other people need to play like you like that's your the best political game just stop okay that's why ashley's one not you anyway so she goes in and she's arguing with um morgan and bananas being the bananas that he is decides he's going to try to uh <laughs> exercise the demons within Amanda. <laughs> Obviously, this doesn't go over well. Anyway, that's that's the drama in the house Um, after the competition of arms again. So then the argument sort of continues and Hunter is getting heated and arguing with Leroy. Leroy overhears them before. Here, here's Hunter and Wes talking about if it comes down to it and he has to call someone out, Hunter, knowing that he's nominated, he's going to call out Leroy if he can't call out Bananas because Leroy and Bananas are somehow hinged at the waist because they're BFFs and have been doing this a long time and have always kind of worked together. So Hunter has called out Leroy, but Leroy heard about it before he's actually called him out. So when it comes down to the argument now, Leroy gets in Hunter's face and he's like, you're mad at me and Bananas when your girl right here, speaking about Ashley, is the one who took the money from you. You've got all this heat and all this anger for everybody else when Ashley's the one who should be mad at. 
And I guess he doesn't like that. And I guess the people around who hurt hear what Leroy says decides they're going to applaud him because, well, I, I kind of agree with Leroy on that. But Hunter doesn't like it, and he gets all hot and bothered, takes off his shirt, and wants to get in everybody's face because that's what he does well, gets angry and fights, and gets eliminated or gets sent home. Um, <clears throat> so all these arguments are going on, and then, of course, Amanda gets into it because Amanda loves arguments, and she had started arguing with Morgan before. So now Amanda decides she's going to defend Hunter and get in the argument and then Jenna jumps in Zach's girlfriend and I don't know what made her decide she wanted to jump in this knowing full well that Amanda had a secret from last season's um uh what was it uh reunion episode that she was gonna expose but decided not to so Amanda said uh, well, sorry Amanda Jenna says to her expose the secret since you're talking you got all this drama you want to spill nobody likes you blah 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 spill it and so she does she says that Zach had been using Bumble while during the last competition after he got eliminated while being in Africa, while Jenna was at home waiting for him. This is exposed. And what happens is, is Zach becomes defensive. Not apologetic, but defensive. He says it's not true. Don't even believe Amanda. You know this girl is the spawn of Satan and all she's trying to do is ruin our relationship. Fine, but instead of him talking to his girlfriend like a mature male, he decides that he's going to be defensive. Don't want to talk to me. Get out of my face. I don't want to talk about this. Leave me alone. And Jenna, for like the hundredth time, is hurt. And my heart goes out to her because she clearly loves the hell out of this guy. And sometimes it seems like he loves her. Other times it seems like he does just for the TV show. And when he gets a chance, he treats her like shit and embarrasses her. And again, this is what happened. And that's what she says to him. She's like, you know, I'm embarrassed that this girl had this on you to spew. Whether it's true or not, just, just talk about it. You shouldn't be listening to her, he says. You know, she's just making all lies. But then it comes out that he, in fact, did have Bumble. And he was using it and kind of cracking on the fact that he was using it. So whether or not he was using it for malicious intent or not, it's embarrassing for Jenna. And he just couldn't wrap his brain around that. He's an asshole. And I used to be for Zach, but I can't be for him anymore after that. I just can't do it. Anyway, they walk away and talk about it and immediately he's going on and doesn't want to deal with it. He asks security to get rid of Jenna at one point. That's how dramatic he is. Anyway, they wrap it up. They're fine. Whatever. She loves him and he can't get rid of her. So he just, they move it. They move on and squash it. Great. Then um, <clears throat> the killing floor, which is the elimination round, is about to take place. And the team going in is Hunter and George, as we suspect. But the team that they pick is who we didn't expect. After he had said that he was going to call out Leroy, he decided to call out Ashley and Chase. Chase is the one I told you guys was beige and boring. Thank God. So he calls out Ashley and everybody's excited because this is an opportunity for Hunter to seek redemption. We are ready for this competition. They go in. The competition is called Drop the Ball. A drone is going to drop the ball in between the two of them. They're both at the opposite ends of the field or the court, whatever. And they have to run in, grab the ball, and put it in the other person's net um i guess first two wins so hunter has his first heat he smashes it no problem um no the girls have their first heat ashley gets the first one in. then hunter goes in and he gets the first one no problem Hunt chase has nothing on him i mean he puts up a good fight but still he has nothing on hunter then it's second heat and now it's up to georgia who is hunter's partner to beat ashley or they're gonna have to do another round thankfully in the clutch, Georgie gets the ball in the net. Ashley and um, Beige Boy Chase are eliminated. See, I couldn't even remember his name. And that was episode two of the Challenge War of the Worlds. Now, I thought this episode was good, but I'm so excited for more to unravel. We're just in the beginning of this season, and I foresee so much drama. So that's the recap, y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next week. Before I forget, expect another episode when we have the first episode of the new season of Survivor. I'm going to be doing a reality check for that um, show as well because your girl loves her reality TV and I got to give you the dish. I got to give you the tea. So expect that coming this week too. Bye.